Nice job today. Kids were participating and trying hard. You barely had to do any classroom management, and you got to every activity and question you planned. To top it all off, nobody got distracted when the class iguana escaped. But wait, what are you doing? You're just letting them go? But you don't even know if they mastered your aim. I know, I know. It looked like a ton of learning happened, but you can't take that for granted. If you're wrong about their comprehension and just plow ahead with tomorrow's lesson, you might end up teaching material they're just not ready for. And we all know how that feels. In order to plan effectively for tomorrow, always give your class an exit ticket. It's the very last thing you do every day, a three to seven minute assessment that measures the degree to which students mastered the day's aim. You're going to use the exit ticket to quickly get an idea of what your students learned and what they didn't, so it needs to be easily assessed. Here's how to run a tight exit ticket procedure. Make sure there's a well-rehearsed routine for distributing the exit ticket. Perhaps you have a student whose job it is to get them from a folder and pass them out each day. In any case, students should know exactly where it is and how to get it. Next, explicitly signal students to start. When the exit ticket begins, it's a silent work time. That will allow you to start to circulate through the room and narrate the behavior of a few kids who get right to work. For the first minute, keep your head up and scan for effort and order. When you're satisfied that work is underway for all students, start reading over their shoulders and taking mental notes. This is a preview of what the exit ticket data is likely to tell you and could even help you adjust your instruction for your students' next period. When the bell rings, students can simply put the exit ticket in a tray on their way out. And a stack of exit tickets is pure gold. Quickly sort the stack into two piles, kids who roughly got it and kids who didn't. Then, flip through the tickets of kids who didn't get it and try to spot at least one common misconception or error. Once you have an idea of what you need to reteach, you can create a do now for tomorrow that gives students an opportunity to practice correcting that mistake. In general, we think you should be giving an exit ticket almost every day. Teaching is tough, but you can make it even harder by keeping yourself in the dark about what your students know and what they don't. The exit ticket will ensure that you begin each day confident that you've chosen the right material at an appropriate level of rigor. Great mini, everyone. We're done. But before you move on, let's see what you learned. Take your time. You get five minutes. Okay, that's, that's got to be cheating.